I would like to welcome Emory, uh, who has been waiting patiently here, who will uh, speak with us about. I think you mentioned everything about Turkey. Uh, so you don't Not everything. I can talk. I can talk much. for another six hours on this. <laughs> so could you. Okay, George. God bless you. Thank you. So, uh, my name is Emre, E-M-R-E. -E. I've been here for five years in the United States, not in California. It's just four months I've been here. Mm -hmm. And I was in New York, uh, teaching Turkish language. I graduated <coughs> when I was 21 years old. And I just, right after graduation, I left Turkey to teach Turkish uh, in different countries, like Sudan, Kenya, South Africa, Hong Kong, Belarus, also worked Turkey, and I came here. So all these years I've been teaching Turkish, so my main focus is going to be Turkish. So Father Thomas already said everything about uh, what you guys might need about the culture and as a tourist what you guys need. Thank you very much. And thank you for having me here. Uh, this booklet here is about uh, Pacifica Institute. This is a Turkish NGO, non-profit organization. And my Organization is called Turkish Language Institute. There's a small brochure here. These are these two con uh, institutions are sister institutions. So we have been using their facilities uh, in the Westwood and Irvine. So I teach both in uh, in two, both locations. I had a trip like this because as a Pacific Institute, we also use some trips to Turkey, and uh, we take some people. The groups, many groups we took, we took to Turkey. Uh, our itinerary was Istanbul, Izmir, Antalya, Konya, and back to Istanbul, just 10 days. So I had, I had an experience. I had a group consisting of 10 people and high school teachers. It was a great experience for them. Uh, based on my experiences, uh, whoever signed up for Turkish, like Turkish classes, uh, the Americans, they want to learn Tur Turkish a little bit before they go there. They visited it, they came back to the United States, uh, and they, they still uh, taking the classes. I'm asking them why they're taking classes. Are you done with the Turkey? No, Emre, I want to go there again. It was so nice. I want to see there too. I want to see it there too. I want to spend more time here. It's so fascinating. I'm sure you guys will, will love it. I'm not hoping that. You will love it, and you will like it, and you want to go there again. Uh, this is a short visit, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. But it's huge, it's huge, uh, it's amazing. I wish I, I would be able to have you guys uh, See, I wish we were able to include Antalya. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and, and, and the south coast Demre, there. Demre. Demre, yes. That's where St. Nicholas was from. Yeah, I thought. Uh, uh, we did go there once. Um, and it was sort of a toss up. Do we go to. Delvac, or do we go down there? And we really felt the city in Antioch was probably the, prob probably the better. We just, I've, I've considered, I've gone back and forth on that, but the time just did not allow Antalya, and I wish, it, I wish that it did. Yeah. Many places to visit. I hope you will enjoy it. <coughs> uh, about Turkish language? If you approach people a little bit Turkish, they will uh, respond to you much better. Uh, this is for sure. Uh, so, uh, Turkish language, one of the sister languages of Turkic languages, like Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Uyghur Turks, uh, Kyrgyzstan, Azerbaijan. There are many, 20, 20 languages like that. They're all Turkic languages, they call them, Turkic languages. Turkey is one of them. And, uh, these language, languages coming from Ural Altai language family, where Japanese, Korean, and Mongolian, Hungarian, even Finnish languages are coming from the same family. So when I have uh, Japanese or Korean origin students in the class, they surprise. And uh, Emre, this is the same. <laughs> and unbelievable. Even for me, it was unbelievable to know that, to find about that Turkish and Japanese are coming from the same language family. What is the difference? The difference is um, that the similarities are 
Well, all, all these languages are additive languages. You add suffixes one another and get new meanings. So in English, we have five different words together, one sentence. We have only one word, maybe four suffixes in it. Uh, I have an ex ex uh, example here, like Baba. Baba, you can guess meaning father. But if you add M at the end, Babam, it's my father. If you add A suffix after it, Babama, and it's to my father. It's how we, how we uh, get new meaning. Uh, what else? So it's totally different than uh, in the European languages, like English, French, uh, German language, but totally different languages. This is the hardest part uh, of learning Turkish. You should, you should transform <laughs> your language things in here differently. Uh, Turkish start, when you translate the Turkish sentence, you should start all the way around. You should start from the end and then you go get the subject. Uh, what else I can tell you about? So totally different than Arabic as well. Arabic uh, or Hebrew languages or the Iranian Persian languages are again totally different uh, from Turkish. But Turkish language borrowed a lot of a lot of thousands of words from uh, Arabic and uh, Persian as well. But also Latin, Italian, Greek, many words Greek all the places you're going to visit, all Greek origin names, Istanbul, Ankara, Izmir, Antakya, I'm right, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know about them. I, they seem to me all Turkish, but we Turkified them a little bit. Even a different here, a different Adriana Polis used to. Ankara, a little different, close to Greek, but we Turkified those, those names and I still keep them uh, like that. A lot of Greek influence, Arabic influence. Persian influence and Latin influence, French, especially French influence, and nowadays English. <laughs> so you would see a lot of English words around. Many people know Turkish, they start to learn Turkish, I mean English, especially in touristic places. You wouldn't have problem if uh, it is a touristic place uh, by communicating. It would be no problem. But if you go a little inner, uh, then I think you will, you're going to visit many places where you're not English is spoken well enough. Am I right? Uh, so Father Tom would help you. Um, Aydin, well. <laughs> <laughs> Aydin, yeah, Aydin. He's going to be with you throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, no the article in Turkish. No the article. We, we never say the United States. We just say United States. <laughs> uh, no, but we have it. When you say, bring me the pen, we have it. Bring me the pen, we have the pen. All right? So, uh, no genders in Turkey, no feminine, no masculine, oh. yeah, so no he, she, there is only one, all, all means he, she, uh, it's our statement. Also that is, it means all. No M is R in Turkish, no M is R. So there are some stuff making the language easier, but there are some other things making the language a little bit, little bit challenging, but it is fine. Uh, if you like like playing Lego, or if you if you like computer programming or analytics or mathematics, <laughs> this is the language you should learn. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's almost no exception language. I can explain each question, so it was really nice. It's fun to teach Turkish. Uh, no exception language, no irregularity. 100%. Is there an alphabet? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will go over the alphabet right now. And what else? So there's a vowel harmony rule in Turkish that, uh, that the thing makes the language harmonic. There are two vowel harmony rules. I'm trying to go over one of them just to show you how it looks like. And uh, yeah, let me just hand out this Xeroxes. I also added four pages uh, at the end, some cultural books. It is just for you to read at home. Some cultural books about uh, marriage in Turkey, how people can marry. marry. Uh, what is Ezan in Turkey? Ezan, uh, the call to prayer. What is Harem in the palaces? Harem. Uh, what about the religion? The religion 
religious uh, celebrations? What is surfing sessions? What is hammam Turkish bath? What is coffee houses in Turkey? Or evil eye, what it means, an evil eye. So why people eye <coughs> street on cloth, for cloth, uh, on a tree? Gift giving, marriage, even funerals. I just, uh, it's a memory, just a summary of these cultural notes. You can just read and enjoy it. Uh, Uh, if you look at page three, you will see the alphabet. We are we have been using Latin script for 80 years. We used to have Arabic alphabet for many centuries, uh, but it has been 80 years after the Turkish Republic was found. We have been using uh, Latin scripts just to integrate into Europe in a better way. Uh, but we used to have Arabic scripts. So if you go to old places, you would see manuscripts in Arabic. Some Arabic is Ottoman, it's Turkish actually. It's, it's good to know. People think this is Arabic, but it's not Arabic. It's Turkish, but written with Arabic scripts. Like the top of a, a door uh, in a mosque or whatever. Uh, you would see those scripts in Arabic letters, but they are Turkish, they're Ottoman, they're Turkish language. So you don't think it's Arabic. Mm. The oldest manuscript Turkish was found in Mongolia in 8th, 8th century, 8th, 8th century. It's a huge stone written something they didn't know about it. Somehow uh, a Danish or yeah, some Danish Turkolak found out that it was Turkish and written by um, one of the Turkish uh, government or state, whatever it's called, Gökturk. It's all about China, by the way, all about advices to our, to their uh, grandsons, grandchildren, advices about, uh, just advising. So it was the first written Turkish alphabet it is there in Mongolia. Think about it. They all came from Mongolia to the, to the, to the west, uh, and they settled down in Anatolia, and many in Central Asia. So you're, you're definitely Asia. They're definitely Asia. Definitely. definitely Asia, yeah. Don't Still look at my eyes, it's not like that, but... But you're definitely uh, Asia, that's good. Mixed up. A lot of mixed up. Uh, we get, got married a different nation. During Ottoman time, or the Sajid time, many people came to Anatolia, and they lived together many centuries and got married. If you go to Asia, you would see people really look like Asian, like Turkish people. But in, in Turkey, Turkey, uh, people are very, you would see people look like uh, European, people look like Arab, people look like me, people look like Asian. A lot of uh, intermarriage that has been going on. In my, my brother got married with a Georgian origin lady. Uh, my sister got married with a Macedonian, uh, Albanian origin guy. But they all live in Turkey. And I, got, I got married with a Russian lady. <laughs> so think about it. I mean, all mixed up. All mixed up. That's fascinating. You wouldn't see one type of people. And if I go over the alphabet quickly, um, so page three, uh, the first picture is Araba. Araba. By the way, you just read what you see. It is written. Like Spanish. Like Spanish. Oh, exactly yeah. like Spanish. Yeah. So my Spanish speaker students, they can uh, is they can read it, read it easily. Uh, this is Araba means car. Baluk. Yes. Jezve. It's cultural. They they make coffee. Like this. coffee. Turkish coffee is made in this system. Jezve. Chai. That's deep. Yeah. Uh, so we have different different letters like che. Che is a different letter. C, there is a dot on. Uh, uh, che, just che. Uh, Dolap, the cabinet. Elma. So you can try fırça, fırça. The hardest sound in Turkish is u. U is I, no dot. This u sound, u. But you have it in English. 
when you say uh, medicine, sin, that do, it is there. So furcha, you can say easily pronounced furcha. You have it there. Gül, gül. By the way, this is this is my wife and my my daughter, Azra. Oh, hello. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Mm, yeah, yumuşak yer, this is yumuşak yer leather. There is no word starting with yumuşak yer. We call the soft G. Uh, it's in the word somewhere. You will see it in the word somewhere. It's called in silence. I don't know why they created it. The G? But it is there. The G? Exactly, yeah. For example, our tour guide, his last name is Errol Lu. Well, it's the soft G. Yeah. E R O L U. E R uh, my uh, O G L U O G soft G L U yeah it's totally the silent and Olu as a suffix usually means son of right son of that's yeah. right like my surname mm -hmm. my, my last name just usually Olu so you find a lot of uh, Turkish surnames ending in Olu Olu that's right with that G but that sign mm -hmm. so that's why that G is a uh, little sad. <laughs> oh, I get it. Right. Halı. Halı is carpet. So you you would buy halı. All right. Uzgara. This U sound here. Uzgara as in medicine. Medicine. Uzgara. Grill. Meaning grill. E inek. Gilet. Yeah, yeah just like that. Kale, kale. So next one will pretty similar, I guess. Limon. Limon. Uh -huh. And masa. Masa. And now, what, uh, it just dawned on me. Limon. But liman. Or is, port. Is a port, right? Yeah, limon. Limon is port. Limon. But limon. Yeah. We we used to have our. Uh, our final um, rest uh, dinner mm -hmm. at the something or other Liman restaurant Liman in, restaurant, in yeah. the port overlooking um, uh, the, the water in this There's one in New York as well, Liman. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and then Nargile, if you go if you visit the coffee house, I don't know, uh, really or not, you can have, you can taste one Nargile. Mm -hmm. uh, they put it on, on, on a table and four or five people can taste it. And can smoke it all together. So, uh, did you try? I haven't yet. <laughs> all right. If anybody wants to tell <laughs> me, we <laughs> still have to do this, grandfather. The Turkish coffee would be great. All right. Um, and then, uh, what is it? What's it have the next thing? It's hookah. It's hookah. It's smoke, it's flavored, it's flavored uh, water tobacco. There's water in the bottom. Flavored There's tobacco. tobacco. Yeah. And you do you choose your no. flavor? No, just like a cigarette, you, oh. you inhale. No, but you can choose different flavors. You can choose different flavors. Oh, yeah, flavors. you can choose different flavors, like apple, melon, oh. rose, yeah. yeah. Watermelon, <laughs> pork, yes. orange. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe it wasn't the right thing to mention. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Stella's gonna do it, right? <laughs> and then we have autobus. Autobus. Ördek. This ö sound. Ö. Ördek. Little hard name with this sound, but ördek. And you say girl. Ö. Yeah. There. Yeah. If you know German. It it's easier. Exactly, if you know German French. Um, Aiden's wife is Ursland. Ursland. With, a, Ursland. with this letter. And then para. Para is money. Para. Para. Para me. Para me. Exactly. Radio. Sounds like Spanish. Sandalie. Sandalie. Shemsie. Shemsie. And you can try to pronounce the next one. Bravo. Takvin. Takvin. Exactly. And the next one? Uchak. Perfect. Uchak. What about 
Izim, perfect. Izim. U sound is the hardest sound. You don't have it in English. Izim, izim, izim, crazy. Re vapor, the last one is vapor, ferry. You should really, doctor. I mean, father, are you going to get on one of these ferries in Istanbul? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We we we are going to. We'll definitely be on a boat for the uh, Bosphorus cruise the first day, mm -hmm. and we may cross um, the, the, the all the all Bosphorus. You will. Uh, I think probably only halfway. I think we're going to have a private boat. Right? Private boat. Yeah. This is a public boat. The yeah. picture. Yeah. The public boat. Yeah. But for, it's come from evaporation. Yeah. It's not Turkish oh. word. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yumurta. yumurta. And the last picture is Zaytin. Especially the breakfast are great in Turkey. Every morning you will have how many? Grapes. Different types. So, I mean, the, the, the, the, the breakfast. The one of the main, uh, one of the main food in Turkey. Uh, for especially the hotels every morning uh, every morning breakfast and, morning breakfast and many of the hotels will have four or five huge bowls of olives different kinds of olives <laughs> for breakfast for breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah, breakfast not just olives but everything mm -hmm. Creamy. yogurt stuff honey yeah. bread yeah. fruit uh, and I like to mention the first vowel harmony rule uh, as you can see on the bottom, you will see the strong or back vowels. You will see that. Did you do you see them? A U O U. A U O U. And then the rest one is A E U U. Great. Uh, the rule is: uh, if the last vowel in the word is one of those strong vowels, you have to go. A specific suffix to pluralize the word. Mm -hmm. It is lar. Lar, L A R, it is a suffix, no meaning. That means plural suffix. And then we have lar, two options to pluralize the verb. Lar and lar. So, kedi lar. Exactly. That is cat. Think about last vowel. Last vowel, if it is strong, go for lar. If it is light vowel, Go for that. Perfect. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> Let's say, yeah, look at picture, picture, for, uh, page five, you will see Kedi. The last vowel is E, which is I. And we have to go for Lag. That means Kedi Lag. It's how we pluralize it. More than one cat. Same way we have Kepek. Kepek. Lag. And kush, lag, because the last vowel is u, u is a strong vowel, so kush, lag. So this is the main, main rules in Turkish. Uh, we have one more like that, two vowel timing rules. Because we have sometimes we have two options to, to change the meaning, uh, sometimes four options. So when you have two options, you have to go for this basic rule. If you have four options, for different suffixes about the same duty, go for the next uh, vowel time in a row. And then, the next page, you will see how they greet each other. And manhaba, manhaba is a very common way to say hi, manhaba. Manhaba, it's Arabic and also Persian, they all use it. And all, maybe all Islamic countries, you will see the same. Manhaba, it's very common in Islamic world. Manhaba, just with hi. Nasılsın? Nasılsın? How are you? It was a translation in the bottom. Nasılsın is... Nasılsın is friendly form. Nasılsın is formal way of asking how are you. So you can you can go for nasılsın. Would be would be no problem. Nasılsın? And the answer iyiyim. Sen nasılsın? So how about you? I'm fine, how about you? Ben de iyiyim. 
me too, okay, I am also fine. Uh, Sasha, nasılsın? İyi. Sen nasılsın? Ben de iyi. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you now. Uh, nasılsın? İyi. İyi. Nasılsın? いいよ。いいよ。なすすん。いいよ。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。なすすん。